Hey, welcome. Grant Cardone here. We're talking real estate. Every Monday, every Monday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I come to you to talk about real estate, how to, how to start getting the game, how to make your game better in the real estate space if you're investing in multifamily, mobile homes, single family, and flipping. We focus on apartments here, big apartment complexes at Cardone Capital. We have about $750 million AUM. AUM, baby, AUM, Assets Under Management at Cardone Capital. Uh, but what I do on Mondays is I take your phone calls. Our phone number here is 305-865-8668. Guys, can we look at this picture? Is, do y'all see a different picture than I see? Because I'm seeing a cutoff picture. 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. I got deals today. I'm taking your calls on deals. What deals are you doing what do you look for? Where do you buy? Saturday, we were in Phoenix, Arizona. Did a conference for about 300 real estate investors. It's a find it and flip it summit. I did it with Kent Clothier. Great, great, great event. And I was there and I was talking about one thing at this event. One question I asked myself in every real estate deal, then I'm going to start looking through your deals. The one question you have to ask yourself, Ryan, you know what, it is, what the question is, right? Do, we want do you want the deal? Do you want the deal? Bottom line is, that's what matters. Do we want the deal? Do, you, do we want the deal? Do you want the deal? Uh-oh, that didn't work very well. But it sure looked good going up there, didn't it? So the big question is, do you want the deal? It's about commitment. You know, it's like a wife. Do you want that wife? Do you want that wife for life? Oh, by the way, this real estate, for many of you, that real estate can last longer than your marriage. <laughs> All right? And if the real estate works, by the way, it can make your marriage last longer. Because a lot of these marriages are falling apart because of what? Commitment. Money. Mm -hmm. Y'all got money issues. Chasing the wrong stuff at the wrong time. Worried about kids. I got it too. I had a guy who came in here for a coaching call today. He's like, I got my wife's taking care of a two-year-old, a three-year-old, and a four-year-old. I'm like, yeah, big deal, dude. That's not a job. That's a responsibility. He's like, what do you mean? People grow up. They, two people get together. They're like, we're going to build a great life together. Then they have some kids, and then, and then they're like, oh, my job's to take care of the kids. My job's to get the kids to school. That's your responsibility. It's not your job. By the way, everybody gets it done. Like 99% of all parents get the job of being a parent done. Okay? It's not the only job you have, man. What about this other stuff? You guys got to get this real estate thing figured out because it's going to provide you with the freedom and the finances to do all the other things you want. So I appreciate you showing up every Monday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can only tell you that my commitment to real estate, to figuring out, to not buying the single family did, which I, deal which I did, my first deal was one unit, 78000 committed to it, bought it, realized it was the wrong thing for me because it couldn't produce enough cash flow, sold it. My next deal, my next deal would not be for three years. I didn't quit real estate for three years. Every day for every weekend for three years, I shopped real estate. Big deals though. I went from one unit, my next deal was 38 units. Is that a baby step? No, that was a dumb thing I did. The first deal was a dumb deal. That was stupid. That was me w walking in, feeling the waters out. Try them. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy one unit, right? No, no, man. You need, you need to get in or not get in the deal. Okay. Don't play around with this small stuff. So I'm going to look at some deals today. Who gave me my first deal that I'm looking at, Ryan? Do we know where this first deal came from? Yep, let me pull it up here. Really I'm looking quick. at 2339 West Northern Avenue. Uh, it's this deal right here. And then if I know who, oh. That didn't work either, but it sure looked good. Okay. Let me, let me pull I'm going to tell you, this really deal's cool. in Phoenix, Arizona. 50 units. I like that. I like the 50 units. Why do, why do I like the 50 units? If you're listening on iTunes, by the way, there's another 80 shows that you, you can subscribe to this channel and go back and listen to them in your car. A lot of you can't watch. You got to listen. 50 units. And we got some callers, right? 50 units. It's a low rise. This is called a low rise because it's two stairs. Two, two floors, no elevators. It's been a bit, what is this, 1950, 1960s built? What is 1960 and four? This property is almost, that's old, man. What is that, 45 years old? 46, 50 years old? 50, yeah. 
It's on 1.61 acres. 1964. And the cap rate they want, the cap rate is 5.2%. Now, what does the 5.2% mean? It means no matter what the price is, listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to simplify all these terms. No matter what the price is, if you paid cash, the cap rate is always based on if you paid cash. If you paid cash, you would earn a 5.2%. So the first question you ask yourself without asking anything else, do you want that 1964? By the way, it's been there for 53 years. Pretty good chance it's going to be there 53 years from now. I don't know the location, but I can look at this report that I was given. It says, oh, it's a walk score of 67. What's a great walk score? 100. That means they got a Whole Foods next door to it. This is a 67. Transit score, 48. Lower the score goes, the worse, okay? It's zoning rest- uh, description. I don't know what an R5 is in Phoenix, but I would expect that's residential for more than five. Parking ratio, 1.4 to 1. Occupancy, 92%. When I come back, I'm going to show you what to pay for this bad boy. If you pay our third fund, it's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I want to be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to $3 million, but it's going to take 10 years. This is not get rich quick. Okay? If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I want to get rich for sure. So I'm going to go from 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm going to go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm going to do, and this is why I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to 40,000 units, and I'm going to get the whole world involved in it. You're either going to invest with me, or you're going to actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Because let me tell you something, if you want to make happy customers for life, make them money. Van Bullfrog is here for 2018 to service you and your business to the highest levels of success. More communication, no drop calls, better integration, faster response time. Kill the desk phone and take your office mobile. Sign up for a free trial right now at bullfrog.net. That's bullfrog.net and join the world's number one telecommunications company, bullfrog.net. Or email ben at bullfrog.net or benreif at gmail.com. Email ben at bullfrog.net or benreif at gmail.com. Conferences is like the end all be all holy grail. It is the most spiritual, mind blowing conference on the face of this earth. There are millionaires here. There are billionaires here. There's money here. Okay, Grant Cardone here. Welcome back to Real Estate Investing Made Simple. I'm looking at a deal right here. That's what we do every Monday at 12 p.m. We look at your deals, and I'm looking at a deal at 2339. Do we have him? That's Shane. Yeah, can we call Shane? Let's call Shane right now. Ready for the number? Can y'all call out, or the phone's full? Yeah, I can call out. But give me a phone, and I can call him. Okay, this deal, this deal, by the way, I'm going to show you two ways to figure the deal out. You could either figure this deal out, And by the way, you need to know how to do this before you go buy deals. You either figure this deal out. What is the price I'm paying for this deal? What information do you need to know? What would go in that block for you to know what the price of this deal is? Anybody in the studio know what that is other than Ryan? What number would you have to know to know how much that deal is? N-O-9. 
The N, the O, and the I, okay? The N, the O, and the I. The NOI. If you knew what the NOI is, you would know how much to pay for this deal. I need my. I need a calculator. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll do it right here. I got. I got it right here. I'm okay. Uh, three eight three eight three eight. Okay. Let me just figure out what this deal is. So the NOI on this deal is being reported at NOI at $198,000. Oops. If you, there you go. If you take the $198,000, I'm going to get back to my, let's do it like this. $198,000, okay, is the NOI. If I divide that 198 by 5.2, I'm going to come up with a number like $3,800,000. And 25,000 bucks. So now the question is back to what? What's the first most important question in real estate? My first show that I ever did on real estate investing made simple is no. K N O W. I just pound it out. You have to know real estate. Do you know you want to be investing in this? Do you know you want to be in this neighborhood? Do you know you want those people calling you? two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, seven years from now. Is it worth it? Do you know this is going to be worth it for you and your family long term? So I would ask myself, by the way, that question all the time. Do I know I want to be doing this? Do I know I want to be on a jet next week, next month, next year? Okay. So do I know I want to be invested in this deal? This looks like an old hotel, basically, that was converted. So that's kind of going to be, kind of going to be when you look at something, this is kind of the traffic that you're going to get from this. But this is how this deal would work, okay? This deal would work like this. Okay? 100, uh, I'm sorry, 3 million, how much? 3 million, 825? 3.8 million. Okay? For this deal to work, you're going to have to put at least a million dollars down on this deal. The guy wasn't on the phone to call, right? No. Okay, you're going to finance two million eight hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. I mean, I can tell you right now, one hundred seventy-one thousand. Okay, so the debt's one hundred seventy-one. That's P and I, right? So it does one hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars in NOI. That's the ex income less the expenses, less one hundred seventy-one thousand dollars. It's going to make $27,000 and you put $1 million down. Can that be right? Can that be even right point? Yep. It might not, it might not even do that. I'm not buying this deal. There's no way I'm buying this deal, okay? I don't even know why this dude would even send me this deal. Like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, I found 50 units. Yes, yeah, so what? I can go find 50 units, too, that I don't want. All real estate does not make sense. Remember, remember that the, the key is this. The key is, and look, you can send me a deal any week. Every week we'll do this show. I'll, I'll take your deals. Number one deal is, do you know you want it? Do you want it if it breaks even? There could be a year, by the way, that it breaks even, okay? Number two, will it support you with cash flow? If it does not provide cash flow in nine out of 10 years, you do not need to touch this deal. Now the question is going to be, how much cash flow? Now, if this was paying me 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20%, I'd be like, yeah, I'd look at that deal. For it to pay me that much money, though, this is what I would need, $196,000. I don't need a price on the deal. You don't need to tell me what you want for a deal. I'll tell you what I'll pay for a deal just by knowing, just divide this number by, by uh, 0 0.08. Yeah, at $2,450,000, okay, I could buy this deal and earn an 8% cap rate. Now, I don't even know if I'd wanted that number, but I know that, 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 that that's going to be the number that I'm like, I'm not going below that number. Okay, now what happens with this deal? 
Now I put six or seven, eight hundred thousand dollars down. Okay, I'm going to finance 1.6, 1.6 times 1.6 times. I'm going to use a seven. It's 112. I'll make eighty thousand dollars. I'll have 112 thousand dollars worth of financing every year. I'll make eighty thousand on 600. I'll make about a 12 percent return because I adjusted my price down 600 grand. I either got to I either got to convince them to sell for me for this number. Now now this deal starts becoming, hey, do I want it now, dude? It's paying me 12 percent a year. Okay. Now how do I make sense of it? Okay. Check it out. 12 percent a year times eight years. And I'm even. I got my cash back. 12%, eight years, I'm out. I have all my down payment back. Maybe less than that. Maybe like seven years. Maybe six years. Okay. 12% a year for five, six, seven, eight years because I'm paying down the debt. You're like, oh, golly, you know a lot about real estate. That's why you guys should listen every day. Okay. There's 80 shows sitting in the bank at iTunes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will not buy real estate. I promise you. You're not going to buy it. You're not going to get it financed. You could love it and still not pull the trigger. Why? Because you don't know what you're doing. And I want to get you to make sure you know. We're going to look at three more deals, and we got callers on the phone. My name's Grant Cardone. This is Real Estate Investing. Real Estate Investing Made Simple. Okay. Our next deal is going to be, what, a $9 million deal? Is that right? No, $950,000 deal in Tucson. Why, why, why are we getting all these Arizona deals? Okay, here's another one. Where, where's the inbox? Ryan at CardoneCapital.com? Okay, here's a deal, $950,000. And this deal is how big? 16 units. That's my drop bottom number, 16. Don't go less than 16. And don't go away for the next 30. Mm -hmm. This will be our third fund. It's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I want to be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to $3 million, but it's going to take 10 years. This is not get rich quick, okay? If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I want to get rich for sure. So I'm going to go from 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm going to go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm going to do, and this is why I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to 40,000 units, and I'm going to get the whole world involved in it. You're either going to invest with me, or you're going to actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Let me tell you something. If you want to make happy customers for life, make them money. company to work for in the smart home industry, Skyline Security, right now is looking for the best of the Grant Cardone following to join their team and expand financially and professionally. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Labeled by Inc. 5000 as the fastest growing company for the last two years in a row, you get to protect families, grow your wealth, and join a team of top producers. Skyline is looking for great people. Go to joinskyline.com. That's joinskyline.com to get started on a brand new 10x career path. Go to joinskyline.com to register.
This will be our third fund. It's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I want to be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to $3 million, but it's gonna take 10 years. This is not get rich quick, okay? If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I wanna get rich for sure. So I'm gonna go from 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm gonna go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm gonna do and this is why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to 40,000 units and I'm gonna get the whole world involved in it. You're either gonna invest with me or you're gonna actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Because let me tell you something, if you wanna make happy customers for life, make them money. Grant Cardone here, real estate investing made simple. Am I a professional or what, guys? Huh? You got to know your game, folks. Got to know your game. Today, I'm looking at a Tucson Boulevard Apartments, $950,000, built in 1984. Then we're going to take some callers, okay? This deal, the NOI on this deal, the net operating income is not 600, no, $68,000. It's actually $68,888. Which is good. I rounded it up. Okay. If I divide that number by the price, if I divide the 680, that's the NOI, <clears throat> uh, by the price they're requesting, 60. I mean, I can tell you right now, this deal, the problem with this deal is this number is already starting off pretty small. I mean, I could get a sales job and produce 68 grand a year. I don't need to commit to a million dollar piece of property. You understand? So the first thing you got to know is, hey man, is the 68 grand worth chasing? Because this number is going to get smaller and smaller, not bigger and bigger. You understand what I'm saying here? First number is, look, is this worth chasing? Right? You, you got to ask yourself, if you're going to make some mistakes in life, is it worth chasing this particular mistake? Why do you say that? Well, this is the NOI, right? It's going to get, is this worth the phone calls? The 68 grand? Because the number's going to get smaller because mm -hmm. this is before debt. Right. This is before the debt, right? See, see how the numbers are starting to disappear? Okay. So <clears throat> let's just make sense of it the way it is. Okay. Yeah. 68,000, 68,000 divided by 950. You just got to get used to doing the math so you can do it on your phone. It's a 7.1% return. Now you're just trying to make sense of, of something that probably doesn't make sense anyway. When you start doing the math, which deal is this? That is... Which one of these deals is it? Oh, it's this ugly one. I don't, I don't see it out there. I think it's this. No, 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 it's no. not up here. Okay. It's, it, maybe it's not up there. It's ugly. I can tell you right now. 16 units are ugly. Okay, I'm looking at the finance report right here. Uh, uh, the, pro mark, the market pro pharma. What do we know about pro farmers, Ryan? Captain Ryan? Captain Real Estate Ryan? Most of them are lies. Dude, they are lies. They're pro formas. They suggest some performance in the future. It's got eight one bedrooms, eight two bedrooms, and they're getting five seventy five and six seventy five in rent. Cheap rent's cheap, dude. It's always going to be cheap based on the picture I'm looking at. Okay, now I don't know anything about the location, so I'm just beating the property up. Management fees are nine thousand dollars a year on a property. That the total income on this property, understand this, is $120,000 a year, mm -hmm. and the management fee is $9,000. Okay, 16 units. This is very, very important for you guys to understand. You've been listening to me for 80 weeks do this show for you. You're listening on iTunes, or you're watching on Facebook, or you're watching After the Fact on YouTube. I keep telling you, 16 units, don't go less than that, but watch. I'm going to show you one example here. Here's a deal, max, when it's full, it's going to do one hundred twenty dollars a year. The manager's making 9000 okay? The manager's making nine grand a year. Now, that means the manager's being paid $800 a month to live in that place and take phone calls. I wouldn't pay more than three grand, $3,500, to manage this place. Okay? My management fees at our properties are 3.5% a year. They're paying, they're paying 8%. 
That means the return to the manager on this investment with no investment at all is actually greater, greater than the return on buying the deal. You're like, eight, $9,000, you can't manage a property for $9,000. That's what John's thinking, right? And I'm telling John, no, I can manage it for 3,500 because I'm gonna buy 500 units at a time, not 16. The problem with this deal is this. It doesn't produce enough income to warrant making an investment in the deal. But Grant, I gotta start somewhere. You don't need to start with a mistake, okay? Just because you got to start somewhere doesn't mean, imagine a 15-year-old kid, an 18-year-old kid, 18-year-old young boy saying, I got to start somewhere. What does that mean, man? <laughs> okay, let's talk to our first caller. Armando in Florida. What is it? Armando. Armando. Hello, hello. Come on, man. What's your question, brother? Tell me about your deal. Well, I'm looking at um, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, I like uh, it. I like Jacksonville a lot, by the way. Jacksonville Jose Boulevard. Uh, go ahead. What's the address again? Uh, 9047 San Jose Boulevard. 9047 San Jose. I love. Why do I like? Why do I like Jacksonville, Brian? Cost of living sheep. It's a yep. growth market. Yep. By the way, Jacksonville is the largest city in the state of Florida. It's yep. unbelievable that nobody knows that. Nobody in this room knew that. Did y'all know that? Did you, Natalie? I didn't know. Liar. She's a liar. <laughs> this is a beautiful property, dude. Beautiful. I don't know if you can show this. This is our, love this brick. Nasty little property. Okay. We got one. We got one that we like. Okay, let me tell you what we like about it, folks. Armando, do you have the money to buy this deal? Yes. My man, I might want to partner with you on this deal, boy. Yeah, I got a, a bunch of investors uh, giving them a six return on their money. I'm investing um, about a third of the, of the money. Okay, okay, so you already have your investors. You're basically saying no to me. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never say no to your Uncle G, bro. Okay, so look, look, here we are. We got a deal. What's the NOI on this deal, man? Oh, oh what happened? No, that's not why. Let's see what, let's see. We, we just got disconnected, okay? So let me, let me tell you the deal on this thing. So 106 units, what's that, 70 grand a door? No, it's 60 grand. I'm just looking for an NOI here, okay? Oh, 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 we have issues. We have a cap rate. They're saying a cap rate of 3.5% based on trailing 12. The trailing mm -hmm. 12 on this deal. Mm -hmm. It's 75K a unit. 800,000, 887 mm -hmm. is the trailing. See, now that's a number that I'm like, hey, I, you get, you're getting my attention with the number now. Remember the last number? The number was like 60 68,000. 68, I'm like, oh, that, 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 really? Again, again, guys, if it doesn't have zeros on it, leave this deal alone because it's not going to be worth the attention. You're like, but Grant, i got to start somewhere. You don't have to start with a problem. And if it's too small in real estate, it will be a problem. The three problems, Captain, real estate run, the three problems. Toilets. Toilets. Tenants. Tenants. Termites. Termites. The three T's. Okay. So this deal right here, I'm reading on the report right here. I knew where to grab the data. $75,000 a unit, 98% occupied. Good, that's good. It's a little high. <clears throat> 1972 bill. Trailing rent, gross rent, 884. They're suggesting that the rent should be $400,000 higher. So there could be an opportunity here. But if, the, in, if the, the rent, this is the rent, not the NOI, by the way. I said it was the NOI earlier. Let's say it costs 400 grand to run this deal. That means there's 487 left over to service debt. Okay, 487 divided by, I mean, divided by the price he said they wanted 8 million, divided by 8 million. It's a six cap, okay? All right, so all I'm gonna show you is this right now. Oops, let me get this out of here. Okay, okay. I'm buying that. I'm buying that for almost a six cap right there. It's a brand new deal. So 
So you guys got to decide what you're going to go chase and run down, right? I'm, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to make 8% of my money on this deal right here. It's brand new, 240 units, $50 million. But the reason you're not buying that deal is because you don't have the dough for it. You're like, I'm not going to buy the deal because I don't have the money, Grant. I'm not qualified to buy a $50 million deal. I can't get the financing on $50 million. I, even if I had the money, I can't get these people to call me back on the $50 million deal because nobody knows me. That's why we created Cardone Capital. That's why I put together this fund so people could invest with me and we could go out and buy big deals together. Now, now if this is the way you're going to get in the game, which is cool, that's cool. Understand there's going to be debt on this deal. I do it all here. There's going to be debt on this deal, okay? Remember this number, the 487 run? Keep that in mind. Okay. Eight million. Okay, this dude says he's got investors. They're going to have to put at least two million down. They're going to finance six million. Mm -hmm. Use your use your six six point two or seven number. One twenty. Rates are going up right now. It's one hundred twenty thousand. Debt's what? One twenty. No, debt's four twenty. Uh, two million. No, no, two million down, dude. Come on, right. stay with me, man. Okay. Okay. Two, two million debt, down. Debt. How much is the NOI? 447, right? Didn't we say 487? Four, four, 487. 487. Mm -hmm. Less the 420. Deal is going to make $67,000 with $2 million down. Unless I'm doing this wrong. Right? I mean... Let's see here. What is this? So two million. Now, 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 they're saying that there's another four hundred thousand dollars in income from this deal. That would change everything. They're saying there's a possibility to get another four hundred grand. But if I'm the seller of this deal, and this deal could actually make four hundred grand more money, right? The total income on this deal right now is eight eighty-seven. I don't know why our boy hung up on us. Maybe this is why. This is the total income. This is saying the income should be twelve eighty a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, a million, another four hundred thousand. They're saying there's another four hundred thousand dollars in income from the deal. If that's the case, all of a sudden the deal starts getting juicy. But here's my question: If I'm a seller, why do I go get the other four hundred and then bring it to the market? Because if I could get this thing to do another 400, remember, every dollar of income should be 50 cents in NOI. Every dollar in income should be 50 cents. If I could get another 400 grand, I'm the seller. Mm -hmm. If I can get another 400 grand, which is really 200 net, it's $3.3 .3 million dollars an increase in price. I could get another three million dollars. This deal wouldn't sell for eleven, uh, for eight. It would actually sell for eleven point three million dollars. This is how we make money in real estate, right here. We we try to figure out how to get the increased value, so that I can go to the marketplace and sell at the maximum dollars and still get this guy a six percent return. So you got to know. You got to know how to buy the deal, how to manage the deal, and how to escape the deal. I always talk about the exit. I say, know that you want it, how are you going to hold it, how much cash flow while you wait, and what can you do to exit with a profit. Okay, let's talk to the next caller. Tell them if they hang up on me, I'm going to come down and burn that apartment building down. I've always wanted to be an arsonist. You know, if I wasn't doing a show about real estate, I'd be out there burning down properties. <laughs> okay, what is it, man? Mikey. Mikey. Mikey, yes, will sir. you eat anything? How you doing, Mr. Cardone? Man, I'm doing good, dude, dude, dude. You know, you hey, you remember the commercial, Mikey, give it to Mikey, he'll, he'll eat anything? <laughs> of course I do. Everybody remembers that, right? <laughs> Mikey, will you buy anything? Sir, uh, so um, my story's gonna be a little off topic. I do apologize. Um, first and foremost, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have completely changed my life around. Uh, you have brought my older brother from the dark side, went from drugs, from your videos, just your YouTube videos, brought him back into the real estate business that he's dreaming of doing. So I'm personally calling to thank you. I've had an opportunity to meet you. I was working with the Sage Auto Group about five years ago. You came in. You slapped everybody around. You woke everybody up. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, what I want to do with today, uh, we bought a condo about six years ago. And it was for my brother to live in, and 
Things didn't work out. Now it's in the market for sale. I want to sell this. I'm going to get about $350,000 back from this uh, with everything paid off. What What is the smartest thing to do and go put it back in the in the real estate? What would you suggest, sir? Well, well first of all, is that, what, kind of, is, what kind of gain are you going to pay when you sell that? Uh, that's a, a question. If I if I could buy something within six months, then I wouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah, that's called a that's called a, he's got a three hundred fifty thousand dollar gain. So the first thing he wants to do it's called a ten thirty one exchange. Ten thirty one exchange, right? And this is why this is why Donald Trump. You know this is why. You know Donald's a good. If you like real estate, Donald's a good president to have because okay. the ten thirty one exchange. The ten thirty one exchange basically suggests that he can take his three fifty. In uh -huh. in 180 days, if he can exchange that, if he can exchange that into another property, he pays no tax. No tax. It's actually a Not better true. better definition is defer it. Now, what would he have to defer to? How much debt is on your deal? Um, it is about I want to say less than, God, maybe thirty five. Thirty five what? Thirty five thousand. Okay, so. For your next deal to be a legitimate exchange, it must have $35,000 worth of debt or more. Okay. Okay, so, so you'd have to go out and buy a deal for at least $385,000. Uh, $385,000. $385, and and ca carry the debt, and then you're good. Okay. You got to okay. identify the property in 45 days. Uh -huh. um, you got to be like, okay, 22nd, 22nd. Blah, blah, blah street is where I'm going to buy. You have to do that in 45 days. And then you have to do the consummate the exchange, finish the exchange. Going, this money can't ever touch you, by the way. Don't ever let this money go into your account or bank account of yours. Don't ever take one sliver of this money, not a penny. So how do I say it? Just in the house? You set it up in an, uh, with, with what's called an accommodator. Uh, if you, if accommodator. You, yeah, an accommodator is a third party that basically is going to charge you how much? What are they going to charge you for this? Not sure. Bucks? IPX is the accommodator we use. Yeah, IPX. we use a, a, a group called IPX. That money goes from closing to IPX account. It sits in that IPX account as a third party. You cannot take a penny from it until the closing. And at the closing, that money then goes straight to that new deal. Gotcha. So oh in the God. interim, God while this money's so looping much. into the new deal, Basically, you got to keep your hands off the deal. Right. Okay. You touch touch that money and you violate that exchange. Absolutely. Now, now, what are you going to buy now? The new deal, dude. Your new deal, your new deal should be like a million dollars. Right. You should put three hundred fifty thousand dollars down, the money from your exchange. Right. And you should finance six fifty. Okay. The further you get away from California, the more this million dollars will buy. But you always advise to stay in our. Uh, Zip code or close by where we live. Yeah, where we I mean, I, I'm thinking I, yeah, about Nevada. Yeah, I, I, I'd stay in your zip code as close to where you can live, unless where you live is no longer a deal. See, this is right, this is the course. problem with people that invest in real estate. They, they're they're so focused. This is what I always say: know where you're buying. Of course, of course. But the problem with that is this: what if where you're buying sucks? Absolutely. What if there's Which water right problems, now, regulation sucks. problems, political problems, earthquake issues, or it's too expensive, or you got rent control, or, or the law favors the tenant more than the owner? Then, then you're like, dude, I know. What do I know now? I know I can't invest here. This is stupid. Why do you think right. we left Los Angeles? You think I left there because I like the uh, I don't like the weather? No, and we're so mad that you left us, bro. Are you ever going to come back? Yeah, but I ain't mad. <laughs> of course not. You know? <laughs> I hope you're not. You are answering your, you know what you're doing, Mr. Cardinal. I'm watching your videos. The promise that you made to your mother, I mean, I've seen it multiple times. That you, when you said, when I get rich, mom, I'm going to take care of people. Yeah. And God bless you. And first and foremost, rest in peace to your mother. You are doing that. Thank you. You don't man. understand the people's lives you've changed. Just strictly the five people that I know personally myself. And my GM is grinding me right now. Literally, Ali Khan, I think you even met him at the Sage Auto Group meetings. Mr. Ali Khan is grinding me to contact you and see how much would it cost for him to bring you there. And I said, forget bringing him there. That's going to be too much money. What if we do the online university thing? So I'm, I'm trying to work. Something. I spoke to your uh, sales manager, the one in Florida, and this guy kind of maybe was too busy uh, to continue on. But how do I get you on board? How do we? How yeah, do yeah. Dude, let's get his here, phone man. number. Everybody's Look, let's say, you know, you know what we should do? We should do both. We should do the online 
and do what your GM wants, and, and he wants me to come out there. Uh, what store are you at now? I am at OC Infinity. It's located in Westminster, California. Okay. Well, you don't sell cars, dude. You guys, you guys take orders over there. Of course we do. That's all we do now. <laughs> That's how good that product is. Okay, look, we're going to call you back. Natalie, get his number. I'm going to call him back, and we're going to do both for him. Go. Eat. We're going to go speak. I love you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Love sir. you, bro. Tell your brother hello for me, too. Okay, so, folks, what you got out of that call is this, man. That's, that's when you learn the 1031 exchange. By the way, a lot of you out there, if you're planning on selling your house this year, let me tell you a little trick. I don't know if I should tell you this one. But, you know, you might want to figure out how to go, go to your account or CPA and set up renting your house from yourself and then selling it. And then moving that house money into rental properties. There is a way to do it. I can tell you that. <laughs> from personal experience, I can tell you. You can do it. Okay. All right. Um, so we're talking real estate. We do this every Monday. Ryan, what else do we got there? Real estate, Ryan. Real estate, Ryan. More, more, more callers, more deals. Okay, what else you got? What, what else you got in your bucket? Uh, let's see here. Oh wow, on your game. See, I can't read this one, dude. This is the the, the fonts like. Let's talk to the next person. Yeah, like a Dustin six font. Dallas. What is it? Dustin. Dustin. Yeah. Come on, man. What are we gonna buy, dude? <clears throat> Looking at a fourteen unit next to downtown Dallas. Well, first thing is it doesn't hit my criteria. Sixteen. Dude, 16 is like, it's the drop dead number, okay? Now, I'm going to look at your deal because it's Dallas. All problem right. with Dallas, what's the problem with Dallas, Captain Real Estate, Ryan? Hyper supply. Man, am I looking trim or what? Trim and buff? Both? What? What's the deal? Huh? Okay. Okay, 14 units. problem with Dallas is this, man. They have overbuilt Dallas, okay? Yep. I mean, how, how many units you got coming on this year? New units. Hundred. No, Wait, no. Was it twenty five thousand? Yeah, like twenty five thousand new new units coming on. Yep. But let me look at your fourteen, dude. Let me go ahead and look at your fourteen. Okay, I know where I'm. I know I, I'm already not feeling the vibe on the deal, but I'm gonna look at your fourteen. Okay, what? Okay, yeah. I look at your fourteen. What you got? How much? How much uh, income you got on this deal? Noi twenty seven thousand. Okay. Asking three fifty on it. Say again. NOI is twenty-seven thousand. They're asking three fifty on it. Three hundred fifty thousand asking price. Okay, you like you like the? Do you like the uh, the neighborhood? I love it. I live I live down the street. Now you see the answer. The answer mm -hmm. wasn't. Yeah, he loves it. I live right down the street. So that interests me. The moment you say that, okay. The NOI is twenty-seven thousand. Let me just guess the number, or is this the number they want for the property? They're asking three fifty. Okay. I think I can get less for it. Oh, you can, oh, of course. But that's not the issue, by the way. <laughs> the issue is never how much you pay for the deal or how cheap you get it. Okay? So he's going to have to put $150,000 down in this deal, right, Ron? Mm -hmm. 200 grand. Okay? You can multiply times seven just to be covered on everything principal, interest, taxes. Uh, that's going to be $140,000 a year. Is that right? No, no, $14,000 14. a year. Sorry. <laughs> Back. Can I? Yeah. Go right there. Oh, that was sexy. Okay. So I actually, uh, I'm actually looking to buy the deal with uh, my business line of credit. I flip properties here in Dallas, and uh, it's only 50% occupied right now. So I'm looking to uh, do put about 100 grand into renovation, bring up occupancy. And then I load the deal and get in a bigger one. Okay, so l l let's play it all out. You got to spend a hundred there. Now you're at four fifty. Okay, how, how, how do you how are you going to do the debt? So he's going to do a different debt than we've been talking about. He's going to do business line credit, right? Yeah, I have half a million in business line of credit right now. That so I he's not going to put any money put down. Half. Is that right? No money. He's basically going to get a line of credit for three fifty to close the deal, a hundred to fix the deal. And he's going to flip this? Are you thinking about flipping it? Exactly, yes. I like this deal for that. Okay? Now, now, his entire, right now. His, his entire focus now is exit, which means what? How fast can I go? If you're going to exit a deal, if you know you're going to sell a deal, the way to increase your return is to, 
decrease the time it takes to bring it to market. You can actually increase the return by shortening the time it takes to market. His deal is going to be how fast can he close it? Okay, how fast can he do the work? How fast can he bring it back to market and sell it? In the meantime, though, what kind of income will you have from this property? What do you think the new rents will bring? I, I currently pay on my, my one bedroom right down the street, 1200 uh -huh. It's an A-class property. This property that we're looking at is probably C, B at best. I think it can bring 850 Oh, this one will bring 900 a month? I think, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the way he's thinking now. For uh, earlier, he <laughs> knew for sure it was a good location. I know it can bring eight hundred at least. Okay, see, but 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 dude, there's a big difference between eight hundred and nine hundred. What's it bringing down, dude? What is it? A crack house? It's bringing it's bringing seven hundred, and it's it's falling apart. So after I put it back together, okay, it's bringing eight hundred. It's bringing seven hundred, and it'll fall apart. It's falling apart. Well, it's just not managed well at all. Well, dude, if it, if it's bringing if it's bringing. How many units? 12? It's 14, and only half of them are rented at 700. Yeah, but then it's a crack house, dude. Like, like if that's what it is right now, then, and remember, they got 25,000 new units coming on, and it's only half full. So we got big issues there. You, you got more than a management problem. You got more than a management problem. Would you agree, Ron? 100%. 100%. Dude. You got location problems. You got tenant problems. You got... Like, like, think about that hundred grand, bro. It might be getting some of those people out there. It could take three or four months just to evict those people. Some of these people at the end, dude, they're, they're going to fight. And by the way, before they leave, they're going to tear the place apart, which could be good for you. Be like, shit, I had to do less demolition. <laughs> you know, maybe you pay people to say, steal everything. Steal it all, dude. I'll give you a thousand bucks. So this is what I would do on this deal. I would put, I would go ahead and tell the guy, look, I'll give you the 350. I need 45 days due diligence time. Get in there, meet the tenants, see if you can buy them off to get out of the place. Okay. Okay. Uh, but again, you, you know, I think you need to try to figure out how to get those rents to a thousand bucks. Patios, gardens, something. And maybe you need to spend 250,000 there, not 350. Maybe you need to spend 400 grand. And like really have a property there, something nice. Yeah. I wouldn't think yeah, about how little really you nice. can spend That's there good. now. I would think about how much could I spend? Because look, even if you're in the deal, even if you're in the deal, 14 units, 14 units times 80,000. That's a million one. Okay. You could actually spend, bro. You could spend some real money there. If you got 14 units. Yep. You know, you could afford to have a million dollars in that deal and make it nice. You're still $80,000 a unit. That's a great deal. If it's a great location. So again, it's okay, this is, this is why we, we, we do this show. I would spend more money on this deal, not less money on this deal to rehab it. So I could change the demographic of the tenant completely. I want a thousand dollar a month rent here, a brand new deal, 14 units, thousand bucks a month. 14,000, 12 times a year, that's 140 plus 28, that's 168,000. Now my NOI is more like 78 grand a year, not, how much is it now? It is 20, 27,000 NOI. 27,000, I just increased the NOI by 50,000. 50,000 divided by six is $3 million in improved value okay okay then i go back to the bank and i get a loan dude i get the noi back to this number check this out i go to the bank and say hey i got an noi of seventy-eight thousand mm -hmm. divided by 0. 0.6 1.3 deals worth 1.3 now okay i'm sorry i don't i didn't increase the value by three million it was three hundred thousand sorry still thirty mm -hmm. percent on the entire package mm -hmm. okay uh uh, they'll, lend me they'll, they'll lend me money at 1.3, but watch what I would do. I'd go back to the bank and just say, look, I just need a million dollars worth of debt on the deal. What do you got in the deal? Would you pay for the deal, bro? 350. He paid 350. Okay, let's say he spent another 400. I mean, I don't know what you'd spend 400 on, but let's say you did it. He's got 750 into the deal. 
and the bank lends them a million dollars. How much money I got in the deal now? Negative 250. <laughs> 250,000. Oh, non-taxable event. Sorry. Non-taxable event. Okay. That's how you make money in real estate, dog. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Keep it forever, by the way. Don't even flip it, dude. You flipped it on the bank is what you did. Yeah. Okay. That's how you make money in real estate. We'll always find a deal, folks. I'll always find a deal for you. Okay? If you, if, if you can't find your own deal like he just found, that's a freaking killer deal. This is the kind of deal you guys in the flip business, that's what y'all need to be looking at and never flip it. I just did this conference for find and flip. I'm like, dude, find it, flip it, keep it. We flipped it. We flipped the demographic of the, uh, of the investor by thinking bigger. Right, And then go back to the bank and say, look what I did to this deal. And then we take all our money out so we don't really care what happens to the economy. I ain't got any money in it, dude. If I make a penny, one penny a month, when I don't have any money in a deal, that is an infinite return. Bitcoin can't go up that much. Do you understand? If I earn one penny on a piece of real estate I have no money in, Bitcoin will never catch up with that return. No matter what Bitcoin goes to, Bitcoin can go to a million dollars. My return is still better when, when I have no money in and I make one penny. Next caller. Dude, that's, that was a sick call right there, okay? You guys, you guys don't tell your friends about this show, something wrong with you. You don't subscribe to this channel, something, I mean, you, you like. Frankie, what's up, man? Frankie, I got Captain Real Estate Ryan here. He wants to know what you got. Winner of the day right there, that last call. Winner. I want some of that deal, dude. Because he knows it's a good deal. That guy knows. Because when he answered the question, is he on? Come on, Frankie. Spit it. Bubbles, what up? What's up, baby? Good, man. Good. Got 400 units in Colleen, Texas under contract. 400 right units. That's my biggest caller yet, man. I like Colleen, dude. What's going on with the fractured gas over there? Is that happening or what? I can't call it. Brian, can you speak to that? What is it? What's the address? The address is uh, two properties portfolio, uh, 5016 Watercrest Road in Colleen. That's 240 of the units. Mm. The other 160 are 2801. Oscar Whiskey, that's O.W., Curry. Using military talk on me now. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome looking. How much is the whole deal? A million. I wish they could see what I say. How much? 40 million. 40 million. Mm-hmm. <whistles> hey, this is Brian. How's it going, guys? Brian, what's going on, bro? Hey, working with Frank on this. Uh, Frank and I go way back to... Back in private lending days, so um, a forty million acquisition. Yeah, so bro. Just a breakdown on that. But what we're looking to bring to bear is uh, put some equity capital in place. It's about twelve million total. Eight yeah. million for the the one on Watercrest, and then uh, three point nine on the other. Okay, good. So what's the play here? What was that? I say, what's the play? So the play is about a five, three to five year hold, a uh, little bit of a value add on uh, taking, it's really a management value add and, you know, riding with the, that market over there and clean uh -huh. um, and um, putting some new management efficiencies in place. Oh, um, really? They're not really collecting what they should be collecting. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, the other big. Let, 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 let me just interrupt you. Let me just interrupt. Let me. Yeah, let me just interrupt you right there, okay? Let, let's assume, dude, that you're not going to manage it any better mm -hmm. than the last people. Yeah, sure. Are you going to still buy? We're just looking at, you know, a growth in the market and uh, putting, you know, very little capital to finish some of their interior. All right. Let's there. assume, let's assume and, that the market doesn't get any better. Would you still buy it? Well, we had no, I mean, if that was the case, we would just be, 
based on on I, and I don't know what you would say because if it was just a straight up hold, it would cash flow at today's value at yeah. a real conservative rate of nine percent when they're running at five percent. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to so, ask you again. Base, base, this is Brian, right? Brian, assume the economy gets slightly worse and your management is worse than the last company, which sucks. Do you want the deal? Okay. Do you want the deal? Do I want the deal if I cannot take it from where it is today and make it better? The rents don't. Or, no, you can't make. Yeah, I'm, that that's the scenario I'm giving you. Okay, you're not you're not you're not uh, Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman. You don't improve the management. You don't improve the income, and and uh, you you don't improve the efficiencies. Would you buy the deal? Well, I mean, just on a straight appreciation rate, if I could run it at. My projections are worse than today anyway. So if I could run it at worse than today, it would still be making money. Then I would say yes, if, I, if my play was just a straight hold. Good. But your play's not a straight hold. What is it? The play is to improve the efficiencies and bring up the NOI and then exit out in about three years. Three to five is our projection. Yeah. All right. So there's one of the big value adds with the watercrest property is that it's a HUD assumption. So the the mortgage we're assuming on that is only 3.1%. So it really takes out a big chunk of the loan to value. And we're also assuming it at four plus years into the loan. So we're already paying a big amount. To, and they've already paid a lot of the interest out and are, we're at a higher percentage on the principal payment, which also would increase the appreciation no, no, if we no, no, Brian, 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 that, that has nothing to do with the appreciation, though, okay? Like, first of all, the HUD loan makes it less desirable to the next buyer. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe, if, in, but in, if rates go up, it could be desirable on an assumption if uh, somebody could get in a, on a second, you know, bring in capital at the, on the acquisition. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so look, you got a good looking deal over there. It looks great. It's beautiful. It's clean Texas. I don't know what the growth is like there. I know there's a story going on there, but right now there's a story going on almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, like what's the right. NOI of the deal? Seven the percent. NOI, Brian doesn't like me right now. The current NOI is. Okay, uh, right. The, the current NOI is about 1.8, 1.9 in that range. Okay, and, and how much debt do you have to assume on both deals combined? Oh, combined. So, okay. I'm not assuming any debt. No debt on um, the Watercrest property. And we had planned on putting 20% LTV on the other property on a um which is called harbors equity they're probably talking about equity oh equity equity or or, or? no no that's that would be a loan of 80 percent 80 percent loan to value and then bringing equity on top okay all right 20 percent equity okay so loan. so look when you're buying this deal are you buying two separate deals or are you looking at this as one package why do we lose him you know okay so so Again, look, you know, know, know what you're doing. I'm not saying he doesn't know what he's doing, because he could. But why is he calling me then? <laughs> when you call in here, hey, Grant, what am I not seeing? Mm -hmm. Okay, what am I not seeing? What am I missing? Don't defend your purchase, man. Don't defend your purchase, guys. Do not defend your pur purchase when you call me. I'm on your side. I'm trying to help you. I'm going to tell you when the deal sucks. I'm going to tell you when you when you weigh too much. You know why? I'm going to tell you the truth. If the deal sucks, the deal sucks. If you're out of shape, you're out of shape, okay? If you're not if you're not maxing your freaking production and you're doing stuff where you could take advantage of other things, I'm going to tell you, man. I, I, I work with a lot of people. I walk in here. Dude, you're looking at something. Grab three or four or five pieces out of that. Get more productive. Everybody just needs to... 
Like, like that's why that one line in that movie, A Few Good Men, what was the line? Everybody knows that line, man. You can't handle the truth. You didn't see the movie, dude. The line works. You can't handle the truth. You want the truth? That's right. So if you hadn't seen that movie, A Few Good Men, man, you need to see it because most of you guys can't handle the truth when y'all, particularly real estate people, they're, they're, they get in a real estate deal and they get so like hung on it. You fall in love. I don't need a condom. Uh, yeah, you do. I don't care what she looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to put it on. <laughs> and that's why we created Cardone Capital. Cardone Capital is your condom. Strap one on, dog. <laughs> okay? So we, we do all the due diligence. I do the work. Dude, every deal. Captain Real Estate Ryan can tell you. I pound the, the lenders. I pound the brokers. I pound the deal. Everything that we can get out of a deal, we get it on. Why? Because it's going to matter later. Trust me. Mm -hmm. When you're buying a deal and you're like, oh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Everything matters. Okay? Until it doesn't. We're closing a deal this week. It's 507 units, 507 units in the heart of the Galleria in Houston, Texas. Every time I tell somebody, I don't even show them a picture of the deal. I'm like, 507 units, $1,200 a month rents, Whole Foods next to me, Second Baptist Church across from me, okay? And, and we're in the heart of the Galleria. We're one mile from the Galleria. Every person that we ever tell that to, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I'm like, no, dude, it doesn't have anything to do with God. <laughs> it's got something to do with real estate. The best investment in earth is earth. It pays for itself while we sit there and wait for this little chunk, 15 acres of land, with little buildings on top of it, paying 1200 a month times 1200 a month. What is that? 600 grand a month? 600 grand a month. 600 a month. $7.2 million a year in income, if I'm not exaggerating. Is that about right? $7.2 million a okay. year in income. Now, you see, this is big enough to get my attention now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're buying a business that's got enough income, so like, hey, man, dude, I can pay for some stuff. I can fix the brick. I can fix the pool. I can fix the, the gate. We can put a big gate on it. We can trim the trees. We can take care of our tenants. I got enough money coming in. Now what I got to do is figure out, hey, man, how do I, how do I get the $25 million necessary for the down payment? Not, not to buy it. Not for the purchase price. For the down payment so I can assume the loan that's already existing on the property. How can I do that? That's how y'all need to be thinking, man. This is about buying businesses, okay? It's about buying an investment big enough. This is not about buying a piece of stock, a stock or a mutual fund, putting $7 in a mutual fund or $700 bucks in, 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 in Bitcoin. Cross your fingers. Oh, my God. If it goes to a million. If it goes to a million. Oh, if I'd have bought Apple when it was a dollar. If I'd have bought Facebook when it was five. But you didn't. You know? If you'd have bought the lottery ticket in, in, in Pinellas County instead of that 20-year-old kid, you, you, you'd have two. If you'd have been right there and bought the ticket, okay? If you were Brad Pitt, you know? But you ain't. What can you do? What can you do? Anybody can buy real estate. There have actually been studies, okay? Not highly educated. Not connected, less connected than normal people. Like they did a big study on, on the super wealthy in real estate. Less connected, less educated. They didn't come from some Ivy school. Anybody can get in this game. Okay? But you're not going to do it like two, f four units at a time. It's just dumb. It's going to kill you. This is all the stuff that goes to foreclosure first. Okay? This is what Ryan did. Ryan took his 18 units, sold them all, took them, Put them into a portfolio where I have 823 units. We're about to sell the portfolio. Okay. How much money did you put in this? Uh, 400. Okay. Paid the taxes. No 1031. Paid his taxes. I had 500. Went down to 400. Paid his 100 grand. Yep. Okay. Watch what happened. Everybody's like, dude, you owned 100% of these 18. Mm -hmm. He owned all this. Pretty okay. Money. He had 400,000, he had 500,000, paid his taxes, mm -hmm. sold the 18, dumped his money into the 823 units. 
that I paid $53 million for. 63. No, no, I paid $63, $63 million for. Mm -hmm. Okay. He put his little 400 grand into this deal with me. We're selling this deal right now for $75 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're like, yeah, but yeah, but dude, he's only got a piece of this, but check it out. Okay. We only put $12 million. No, no. We, we put $5 million down when I bought the deal. Eight, yep. Eight million mm -hmm. down. I bought this deal, 70, uh, $63 million with 8 million bucks. Mm -hmm. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We only owe 52 now. Okay. $8 million turned into 20 million bucks. Mm -hmm. His 400 is going to be a million dollars. He was not going to make a million dollars on his 18 deals ever. It wasn't going to happen. You could, you could fast forward for the next 15 years. He was, would you agree with that? 100%. There's no way. It not, not, I mean, he might have to come back in another life to make that million bucks. Okay? His 400 grand riding on a big deal. That's what we do at Cardone Capital. His money riding in a big deal, even a small little sliver, okay? He's riding on my big bet, and we score, okay? I'll bring you through the deal again. Let me just show you the deal again. I found a deal. It was $63 million. Is that right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Yep. It had $58 million worth of debt at the time. Is that right? 56. These are millions, okay? Sorry, 56. I put $7 million down plus... The fees to close the deal. I'm in at about $8 million mm -hmm. for rehab, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We're selling that deal right now. I have a, one offer for $75 million. They're going to assume the loan. Mm -hmm. The loan is now paid down to what? 54. 54. And some change. That leaves me with $21 million. Mm -hmm. Okay, $21 million. And how much did I put in it? Almost eight. Mm -hmm. Only tripled my money. I tripled my money. By the way, well, I got paid on two of the four properties for most of the months. Okay. Now I'm telling you that I almost, I, I never tell you that I, that I don't have cash flow on my properties. Two of the four paid me every month. Three of the four paid me almost every month. And one of the four has, has paid me one month out of three years. We've been in that deal three years. I turned $8 million into, into 21 million bucks. And then you guys wonder, how does he buy jets? Mm -hmm. I don't buy it motivating people. Okay, and I certainly don't buy it doing free podcasts. So how do we get this podcast to number one? So I need you guys to help me get the podcast to number one, because, man, I'm giving, I'm giving you great data. Nobody, nobody's giving you this information. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not telling you how to flip homes. I'm telling you how to make big, big money in real estate. Big money, okay? And the way to make big money is to quit, you know, tripping over nickels. So if you like the show, like it. If you like the show enough, subscribe to it. If you don't want to miss it, if you want to at least archive the shows so you know you, when you forget, you can go back and watch them over a weekend. Subscribe to the show and let your friends know, man. Let people know, man. The show is thunder fire. It's a gift from the gods. Yep. If you ever wanted to know how to do it, man, I'm giving it to you for free without you even reading a book. Okay. All right. My name's Grant Cardone. This is Real Estate Investing Made Simple. Every Monday, 12 p.m., I do this for you. Ryan at CardoneCapital.com is where you send the deals. Maybe we'll preview your deal. When you call in, man, don't hang up on me, man. You, you know, I, I don't like the way he's talking about my deal. I think that last guy hung up because he didn't like the way I was talking about his deal because he thinks his investors are going to hear something. Man, if, look, 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 if, my, if your deal can't stand my look, it's not going to stand the look of anybody. Well, you know, when you go to get the HUD loan, the HUD people are going to be like, first question they're going to ask, have you ever assumed a HUD loan? Guarantee you, first question. It's not going to be about the deal. Have you ever assumed a HUD loan? No. Have you ever assumed a Fannie or, Franny or Freddie Mac loan? Right or wrong, right? Mm -hmm. First question they're going to get is nothing to do with the deal. He should have been asking me this. Hey, Grant, please, oh, great one guru, Grant Cardone, master of uh, real estate. Oh, great one, tell me how do I make sure they will uh, assume me for long? You manage my deal. You, Grant. And then the second question they're going to ask is what? Who's managing that property? Okay, how many other units do you have under management? You better have those two questions answered. It's not always about the price and a down payment and the NOI and what are you going to do to it. So 
couple great calls we had today, though. That last call was a great call mm -hmm. if the dude would have hung in there. The call before that was freaking unbelievable, okay? Because I, I showed that guy how he could keep that property forever. Went in thinking 14 units is too small. But there probably is a shot there, a space there in that 14, 20 unit, 18 units that people are missing where you could go and really fix something, particularly when there's skyscrapers in the air and they're building a lot of new stuff. Because to build in downtown Dallas right now probably costs 300 grand a door. He's going to be in there at 100. Okay, smaller for people that don't want to be in big properties. They want to be in a smaller thing. Feels like it's them. Natalie's over there nodding. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I, I want to control the neighborhood. She'll be the mayor. Okay. All right. My name is Grant Cardone. If you like the show, hit like. If you got a question, please post your question wherever you're watching. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> if you're on Facebook, turn your notifications on. And if you're on iTunes, man, do me a favor. Help me get up there in the ratings. Rank it, rate it, okay. rump it, and subscribe to it. This will be our third fund. It's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I want to be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to three million dollars, but it's gonna take 10 years. This is not get rich quick, okay? If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I wanna get rich for sure. So I'm gonna go from 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm gonna go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm gonna do, and this is why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna to go to 40,000 units, and I'm gonna get the whole world involved in it. You're either gonna invest with me, or you're gonna actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Because let me tell you something, if you wanna make happy customers for life, make them money.